An incident that would usually be an all too familiar calling card for Delhi has now occurred much closer home in Meera Road near Mumbai. Unless you are absolutely not in tune with what's happening around you, there's no way you wouldn't have heard about the shocking Meera Road murder most fall. It's a case where a 56-year-old man, Manoj Sane, was arrested for the murder of his 32-year-old live-in partner, Saraswati Vaidya, in Meera Road. The gruesome crime has left residents and the country horrified and seeking answers all over again. So here's the whole story. But before we tell you all those unholy and absolutely macabre crimes of this case down to the last details, we would really urge you to subscribe here and like this video because in all probabilities, this video also will be shadow banned by YouTube, age restricted and whatnot, ensuring that you don't get to see the truth in its true form. Well, if you've done that, we'll move on. This is the story of complex human relationships, debilitating socio-economic conditions and a depraved human mind that does the unthinkable with another human and at the center of it all is the so-called love. Manoj and Saraswati met some 12 years ago at a ration shop in Mumbai where Manoj used to work. Police said the two met in 2010 when Saraswati was roaming around in the APMC market in Vashi in Navi, Mumbai. Manoj who then worked at a rationing shop in Borivli West would regularly go to APMC in Vashi for work. Saraswati was of course an easy catch for him. Young, impressionable, helpless, vulnerable, and alone. Hailing from Ahmednagar, Saraswati had always been an orphan. As per the police, after meeting her at the market, Manoj first took her home to work as a house help. Saraswati was still living at an orphanage, later moved in with Manoj and told the people at the orphanage that she is living with her uncle. Manoj claimed that in 2008, he found out that he was HIV positive. He got infected due to some bad blood transfusion. He said he never had any physical relationship with Saraswati and she was like his daughter. However, there is considerable confusion regarding their relationship status with many reports claiming that the two lived like living partners and were not getting married only due to the age difference and social stigma. One cop said that Manoj admitted to have loved her a lot and wanted to marry her but didn't do so because he was HIV positive and he wanted to save her life. Three years back, Saraswati and Manoj moved to a rented flat in Meera Road's Geeta Nagar Phase 7. They rented a flat in Geeta Akashdi building over there. Saraswati's sisters, who also grew up at an orphanage, claim they had never visited Manoj and Saraswati at the Meera Road flat. Manoj claimed to be teaching maths to Saraswati, who wanted to complete her studies since she was a class 10 dropout. Police found some math equations on the board in the flat when they broke it open after neighbors complained of foul smell coming from the couple's flat number 704 on Wednesday. So, flat dead body the police from Nayanagar station swiftly responded to the call on Wednesday evening leading to the discovery of this chilling crime scene. Upon entering the apartment, investigators were confronted with a horrifying sight. Like a scene straight out of the hit Netflix show Dharma, the cops were flabbergasted to see the decomposed body of Saraswati Vaidya dismembered into several pieces suggesting a gruesome act of violence. The police were shocked to find her cut body parts in tubs and buckets near the wash basin and a cooker and other utensils that were kept on the platform of the kitchen. Now I'll let you take a minute for this to sink in but this story gets really gory from here on. Manoj actually used to boil Saraswati's body parts in the cooker to ensure there was no foul smell and thought it would be easy for him to get rid of them. Just like you saw in Dharma, even here, one of the immediate neighbors had complained to Manoj about the bad smell coming from his flat to which he got frightened but he replied that he will check it out. The police have also recovered a diesel fuel chainsaw machine from Manoj's bedroom which was used to cut the body. The police have found that he brought the chainsaw from a nearby store. However, we could not immediately verify whether Manoj fed the boiled body parts to stray dogs. But it is believed that the murder occurred several days prior to the discovery on last Wednesday. After Manoj was caught, he had a cock and bull story ready. He told the cops that when he found Saraswati inside the bedroom with froth coming out of her mouth, she wasn't breathing. He got scared and fearing arrest, he decided to dispose of the body. As per one of the reports in FPJ, Influenced by a web series and the Shraddha Walker murder case, Manoj began chopping the dead body. 
first he cut the body into three pieces and then chopped it further and then separated the bone from the flesh as per an officer who had no problems giving all these gory details to a sensation seeking Mumbai tabloid reporter. By the way, so sure was Manoj that no one would suspect or smell his dirty crime that he would leave Saraswati's remains at home and go to work as usual. So when the cops broke open the door, he wasn't even home, but was arrested as soon as he came back and tried to escape. When he was caught, he claimed that Saraswati committed suicide and he tried to get rid of the body because he was worried that he would be implicated for her murder. For now, whatever was left of Saraswati has been sent to JJ hospital for an autopsy and the reports are still awaited. But if you are still wondering like me, what was Manoj's exact relationship with a woman almost half his age then Deputy Commissioner of Police Jayant Bajbale has confirmed that Manoj Sane and Saraswati Vaidya were indeed in a live-in relationship. It is evident that the couple had a heated argument that escalated into the murder. Some reports have claimed that Saraswati had become increasingly nagging and always suspected Manoj of having illicit relationships with other women and maybe even men and the couple would have frequent fights whenever Manoj would come home late. Could this have been one of the major motives for this crime? We can't tell for sure at this point. The investigation has of course also revealed troubling aspects of Manoj's behavior leading up to the crime. Reports indicate that Manoj Sane frequently visited pornographic websites prompting dissatisfaction and heated arguments with Saraswati. In an attempt to recall the websites he frequented, he had written down their names on a piece of paper which has now been seized by the police. The authorities have also discovered that Manoj had searched for the internet for methods to dispose of a body indicating that it was a premeditated act. A thorough examination of Manoj's phone's browsing history revealed searches made on the day of the alleged murder, including Google searches on preventing decomposition and smell. What a rookie mistake. The police are now actively investigating the exact motive behind this brutal act, hoping to find answers. Manoj Sane is currently in custody and undergoing interrogation. He has been booked under IPC sections 302 for murder and 201 for destruction of evidence in the FIR. Police say he has no remorse. This tragic incident serves as a grim reminder of the dangers that can lurk behind the closed doors. It highlights the importance of recognizing signs of abuse and seeking help in toxic relationships. Now we are not sure how many of you will watch this video but if you have come this far then thank you so much. Completely separate note, if you are still looking to fix your hair problems, hair thinning, hair fall or any other issues with your hair, then give it a shot to It Really Works Vitamins and Serum. This is the only channel where you get full 40% off on your first 3 months order. That is almost half the price. The link to order your first 3 months of supply on full 40% off is in the description. Well, like, share and subscribe if you find our videos worth it. But as always, even if you don't do any of these things, thank you so much for watching this one. Please take care of yourself and those around you. Jai Hind.